Hello there, welcome back to the new video after a while. Today we'll be talking about this very interesting paper which is titled as Frustratingly Easy Model Ensemble for Abstractive Summarization. This is from Hayato Kobayashi from Yahoo Japan Corporation, Riken. So this paper proposes a pretty intuitive and easy idea of how do we ensemble in text summarization. So think of a use case, let's say you have model M1, M2, M3 and let M1 be barred based summarization m2 b t5 and m3 b pegasus now you have a original context you want to summarize let's call that as c1 c1 and c1 so c1 will be common to each of these models and let's say these are trained models that you already have fine-tuned on your data set and the output that you get is s1 s2 and s3 now it's pretty common to think of ensembling when it comes to doing classification or regression because you have models like random forest that will do bagging out of the box or there are boosting algorithms that will do boosting based ensemble out of the box but how do you do it when it comes to doing ensembling for summarization so let's call this method what they propose as post ensemble and this is very much in line with how ensembling happens in the case of classification where you basically do a bagging based approach but in this case it's about a sentence that you have generated right so there will be a lot of words that constitute that sentence how do you essentially go about doing something of that sort is what this paper talks about so we'll go into details to what this post ensemble technique is and also about one more technique which is runtime ensemble which again is a quite a popular thing that people usually do in the case of text generation when they are using multiple models to generate text and eventually they want to blend the text generated from these different models to get onto a text that is best of all the world Cool. So with that view in mind, let's start off with the abstract. So he says, ensemble methods which combine multiple models at decoding time are now widely known to be effective for text generation tasks. However, they generally increase computational cost. So there have been many studies around compressing and distilling these ensemble models. So in this paper, the author proposes an unsupervised way of ensembling that combines multiple models by selecting majority like output in the post processing, which means you need not include any function at the time of generation or you need not tweak any of the parameter in the independent generation from each of, the, each of these models instead once the output from each of these models is generated independently as a part of post-processing they'll add a function that will come up with something that resembles like a majority voting if you see this figure there are two kind of ensembles that are really popular in summarization or text generation space the first one is runtime ensemble and the second one is post ensemble. So in runtime ensemble, the idea is pretty simple. You have your three models, let's say M1, M2 and M3. You have an input. So the time of decoding, which is what is happening in ensemble decoder, at every time step where you do the generation, you either average out the probabilities at that step from each of these models or you take a geometric mean at that step for all the probabilities that have been generated from each of these models so what do you mean by this is let's say if this is model one this is model two this is model three and you had a source text which was s now if you were to generate the first step in the output so let's think of the zero step being start that triggers to, like you want to start generating from here on now for the first word that you would officially generate from m1 you would get some kind of a softmax distribution across the entire vocabulary and let's say if your vocabulary is four words and this is how the distribution of those five words look like now from m2 let's say again you have those five words or four words sorry this is how the typical distribution looks like and similarly from m3 you again have those four words and this is how a typical distribution looks like now the question is what should come at this place so that would essentially nothing be but a geometric or automatic mean of the probabilities for each of these four words so we'd again calculate a new timeline where you take average of this this and this and let's say it comes out to be something like this and similarly for each of them is what you do so this would go something like this maybe like this and since the fourth word has pretty much highest probability in each of these three so, so that might have a little skewness to it so since this has the highest probability on average from each of these three models this is the final word which is w4 is what you output over here w4 now based on this you again iteratively process and you keep repeating this step till the stop token is received so this is how the runtime ensemble works but again as you can see right 
at the time of decoding it's a pretty expensive process because if you were to generate 10 words in general in your output and there were 10,000 sequences then it's gonna take a lot of time because at every step we're applying this averaging function cool so now the author of this paper proposes a technique called post ensemble so here the idea is pretty straightforward as we said like it's a post processing step so you have all your models one model two and model three that are pre-trained or basically fine-tuned on your data set you have a source sentence that you call as input that you give to each of these models independently and whatever they generate as an output let's say s1 which is summary one summary two and summary three the idea is to have a post-processing step which we call as output selector which is responsible for deciding which of s1 s2 and s3 are more appropriate and can be selected as a final summary so that is the output over here so these are the two things that the paper talks about in crux where the novelty that they propose is post ensemble let's move on to see the results and the algorithm in more detail so here they talk about encoder decoder architecture i'll not talk about this i'm sure everybody knows if you are following the recent trends in nlp but yeah again if you just see the equation x is the input on which you are conditioning whatever you want to generate and also on whatever you have generated till now till the th step and this is the next word which is th plus one step that you want to generate and you do it till the end of the token is reached which could be let's say t minus one steps and once you multiply you get the likelihood of y being generated given x as the input so this was again runtime ensemble how you would kind of represent it in an equation format x is the input you want to generate the y sequence so you are basically summing all the probabilities across all the vocabulary words at each step generated by all the models and then eventually averaging it out based on how many models you had so yeah, this is am and this is geometric mean the post ensemble on the other hand as we said again works with the similar logic you have input text x m is a set of learned models in k is a similarity function they used cosine in this case for all the models you pass your input you get the output and this is your bigger s set that you generate now for each of the summaries that you have generated from each of the m models you calculate the cosine similarity within each of them and whichever summary has the highest on average similarity across all the other sentences or the summaries that is what you would want to select but that's why you have an argmap function over here so visually if you see if these are your summaries that you have generated and the cosine of this with all of them is 0.6 cosine of this with all of them is 0.4 and similarly if you calculate cosine of all of them with all of them it's on an average let's say 0.3 so 0 0.6 is the one that you would be finally selecting so intuitively it would capture the central theme that is captured in all the other summaries so that is the intuitive understanding of why this algorithm is working cool okay so authors did one more analysis where they were seeing the impact of like how many models you can have under this post ensemble scheme and you're still seeing an uptrend to the accuracy or to the root score or whatever so they figured out like if you are having 32 models running in parallel for doing the summarization you should be seeing an upward trend in rouge post that more or less it's stagnant or it might dip a little so 32 is the number that they have concluded to be saying okay if you have 32 models or less it should outperform these individual models so i think we're done with the paper now make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel i'll meet you in the next one bye bye and take care